नमस्कार मैं हूं देवांजलि मोहित्रा साल 2011 के वर्ल्ड कप फाइनल में टीम इंडिया के ओपनर सचिन तेंदुलकर और वीरेंद्र सहवाग का विकेट सस्ते में झटक कर भारतीय फैंस की सांसें रोक देने वाले श्रीलंकाई तेज गेंदबाज लसित मलिंगा अपना आखिरी वर्ल्ड कप खेल रहे हैं उसी मैच में नुवान कुल की गेंद पर ऐतिहासिक छक्का जड़कर भारत को वर्ल्ड कप जिताने वाले महेंद्र सिंह धोनी भी अपना आखिरी वर्ल्ड कप खेल रहे हैं धोनी ने भारत को भले ही 2011 वर्ल्ड कप जिताया हो लेकिन उनका बल्ला इस वर्ल्ड कप में कुछ खास नहीं चल रहा है बल्लेबाजी को लेकर आलोचना झेलने वाले सैतीस साल के धोनी के वर्ल्ड कप के बाद संन्यास लेने की अटकले भी लगाई जा रही है सालों ऐसी धोनी को गेंदबाजी कर रहे मलिंगा धोनी को अच्छी तरह ऐसी जानते हैं यही वजह है जब उनसे धोनी के संन्यास के बारे में पूछा गया तो उन्होंने साफ कह दिया कि धोनी को अभी कम से कम एक या दो साल और खेलना चाहिए टीम इंडिया के पूर्व कप्तान धोनी के बारे में लसित मलिंगा ने कहा मेरे ख्याल से एमएस धोनी को एक या दो साल और खेलना चाहिए वो पिछले दस सालों में खेल के सर्वश्रेष्ठ फिनिशर रहे हैं मुझे नहीं लगता की भविष्य में उन्हें कोई मात दे सकता है उन्हें युवा खिलाड़ियों को अपना अनुभव बांटने की जरूरत है की कैसे परिस्थिति को संभालना है भारत के पास एम एस धोनी का शानदार अनुभव है मेरे ख्याल से यही वजह है कि वो इतनी सफल टीम है वो किसी को भी प्रतियोगिता में हरा सकते हैं 224 वनडे खेल चुके 35 साल के लसित मलिंगा से जब पूछा गया कि भविष्य की क्या योजना है तो उन्होंने बताया श्रीलंका क्रिकेट बोर्ड से बात करने के बाद कोई फैसला लूंगा ये जानना जरूरी है की वो मुझसे अगले महीने या एक साल तक क्या उम्मीद कर रहे हैं इसके मुताबिक जल्द ऐसी जल्द अपना फैसला लूंगा योक किंग लसित मलिंगा इस वर्ल्ड कप में अब तक छह मैचों में बारह विकेट ले चुके हैं उनके करियर की बात करें तो तीस टेस्ट मैच में मलिंगा के नाम 101 विकेट हैं, जबकि 224 वनडे मलिंगा ने तीन बार पांच विकेट के साथ ही तीन विकेट लिए हैं। 2009 में आईपीएल डेब्यू करने वाले मलिंगा शुरू से ही मुंबई इंडियंस ऐसी जुड़े रहे हैं एक मैच खेल चुके मलिंगा ने इस लीग में अब तक एक विकेट लिया है mind but having said that i think we are professional enough to uh, you know go out there against sri lanka and play a very clinical game okay. okay. hi dinesh um what what would you like to take out of, of the game with a view to the semi final from the sri lanka game i think um, look i think uh, at the end of the day a few of the batters would want to have a good hit um you know uh, obviously um at this point of time even the bowlers for that matter it's important that you know they work on the things that they want to do um, i think uh, there are there is scope for improvement in all aspects of our game uh, i think uh, we've been playing a good tournament till now but i'm sure personally each player would have some box to take and i think we'll all be looking to do that dinesh you said you had half an eye on the semi finalists what are your thoughts on the the teams in the semi finals and who carries the most threat look to be very honest i think uh, you know it's a world cup semi final so i think all the other three teams apart from india obviously all four teams are going to be uh, really looking forward to that game uh, it's hard for me to say uh, obviously which team will be a threat but on any given day any team can stand up and that's the beauty of a tournament like a world cup because you know once you hit the semi final mark it's just that one day and you got to make sure you stand up on that day i think uh, we're really looking forward to it as a team at the same time i think we have a game to play in leeds we'll do the best that we can tomorrow Dicky you've just played one game so far but you've seen enough like being the substitute and all that the kind of conditions the ground conditions in the pitch can you talk about how difficult uh, it is is it difficult to score in the final 10 for the batting unit <coughs> it depends depending uh, on the conditions i'm saying yes obviously it depends the first thing on the conditions and um, you know also it depends a little bit on how, how many batsmen you have behind you i think uh, you have more freedom to play shots when you have uh, people who can obviously you know play till end if you feel that it's important that you stay uh, if you need to be the player to stay till end then you delay the inevitable and then make sure that you know you take on the bowlers at a stage where you feel that you know there won't be any loss for the team so a you need to play the conditions b obviously the skill sets of the bowler and then you got to assess what is what the situation is and what your team needs and then react accordingly then as you made your international debut here 15 years back it's been a long sort of career was it anything special uh, making your world cup debut yeah i have look uh, i've been around for 15 years so uh, you know to play that game uh, i was really happy first uh, you know um I've been to uh, the World Cup in 2007, which uh, exactly didn't go well as well as we had planned. And uh, for me to come here and uh, sit out the initial bit and then get a chance yesterday—I uh, mean, not yesterday—against Bangladesh was something that I was really looking forward to. To for playing a game, I'm really happy. I think uh, 
it's a very important phase of this tournament and i'd like to do the best that i can moving forward uh, for team india dinesh uh, like uh, since the middle order there is so much of talk about how the middle order isn't performing you came in place of kedar like has there been any kind of brief from the team management like the kind of game they expect from you considering the situations and probably post 35th over considering the match and how the tournament has panned out for indian middle order yeah i think you know they've been very clear on what my role has been you know when i go in at number 7 i need to judge this i mean assess the situation of the game and then play accordingly if it, you know if obviously we need to uh, you know cross the line when we're batting second then i need to you know pace myself accordingly if you're batting first and make sure that we get to the pass code that's required so you know they've made it clear that this is where i'll be batting and my role is to make sure you know whatever the situation is assess it and do the best that i can uh dinesh uh, you only got a chance after india played uh, you know six seven games how uh, difficult is it to you know like perform straight away when you have to wait so much in the dressing room for that one chance that you get uh, you know when you're guaranteed a place at the team you know obviously i'm really looking forward as as i said i've been waiting to get this opportunity so you know the motivation is there the hunger is there it's about going there and executing yes you know i didn't exactly go to plan against bangladesh but i'm sure you know in the games to come that i'll uh, try and put my best foot forward Dinesh, uh, keeping the semi-finals in mind, uh, will we see some of the players, uh, you know, uh, the management resting some of the players for the tomorrow for tomorrow's game? To be very honest, ma'am, I don't know. And the first question I'll say I don't know because I don't know what uh, the team management is thinking. So, uh, you know, obviously that call will be taken by the coach and the captain. And uh, till now, I, I have no clue what they've decided on the team yet. Dinesh, uh, there have been very few successful changes. Uh, more teams are winning batting first. Is it because of the conditions are drastically altering batting second, or it is because of the scoreboard pressure? I think it's a bit of both. Uh, you know, the conditions also. You know, obviously, uh, when you're batting first, it's about seeing through the initial phase when the ball is new, and then you have the ability to decide what to pass score is and try and get there. When you're batting, I think the wicket changes a bit. A certain wickets become slightly slower. It helps the spinners a little bit. For for a lot of the teams, they're they're bowling cross seam, and you know the the wicket has been a little up and down as well. So it's not been that easy to execute shots. And also, sir, there's the World Cup. So obviously, there is a bit of scoreboard pressure, and I think a lot of teams have fallen prey to that as well. So Dinesh, uh, going forward in this tournament, so do you think India should consider or look for a sixth bowling option, or the five bowlers are good enough? Uh, look, honestly, it's a very hard question for me to answer. It's up to the team management what they are thinking. So you know, I think that's a better question put to them. Uh, hi, DK. Uh, how difficult or how do you guys actually prepare yourself uh, before a game? Like yourself, Ravindra Chadha, who haven't got a lot of games. How do you guys go about preparing for each and every game? What is the routine like? I think uh, you know every member in this 15 uh, prepares every game believing that he can play, and I say that because you know we get uh, ample opportunities. Uh, you know we get uh, an opportunity to hit in the practice. Uh, we get to play against bowlers. So basically, we are treated like we are played in the playing in the 11. So you know we try and prepare like we are playing in the 11. Obviously, when they tell us we are not playing, then we are obviously that's when we know whether we are playing or not. But up to up until then, we practice in such a manner that you know we knowing that we are going to play in the 11. Yeah, you just mentioned the scoreboard pressure a couple of answers back. Uh, I, I was just curious: uh, Are you all more conscious uh, of the scoreboard because it's the World Cup? I mean, you. I mean, are you trying to link a uh, mega tournament with the pressure of the scoreboard? No, to be honest, I think uh, India as a team, we have been good chasers for a long time now. So I think we are very confident of chasing. Uh, you know he had asked why teams haven't chased enough i think the reason being i think they are worried about the scoreboard pressure but having said that i think we as a team believe that you know we are good chasers because that's what we do day in and day out and uh, you know we are a team that touch wood has ability to handle pressure very well i think uh, you know we would back ourselves to chase and you know get to totals that we believe we can achieve